last class what did you learn is very good we learn how to write informal letters right is how to write informal letters there are two types of letter what are they is very good formal another one is informal right is formal informal we learn how to write informal letters right is okay tell me what is informal letter we learn right is tell me what is informal letter is very good informal letter is written to somebody that you know right as informal letter is written to somebody that you know such as friends family members relatives right as it includes friendly letters or casual letters right friendly friendly letters or casual letters casual okay it includes friendly or casual letters okay these letters are written in a casual way okay these informal letters are written in a casual way that's why it is called casual letters okay that's why it is called casual letters did you understand okay we learn five different parts to make a letter complete do you remember s yes. what are they first one is very good heading right s yes. heading heading second one louder s yes. very good greeting right s yes. greeting third one thing and tell third one is very good body right s yes, body body then louder is very good clothing right s yes, clothing clothing last one is very good signature right s yes, signature signature as heading greeting body closing signature right these five parts helps you to make your letters complete okay okay let's start our class with word of the day today i will give you a new word that is puzzle okay puzzle puzzle how will you pronounce puzzle okay puzzle puzzle say with me puzzle which means confused okay which means confused what's the meaning of puzzle is very good confused unable to understand okay puzzle for example shanu shanu was puzzled shanu was puzzled shanu was puzzled which means shanu was confused okay shanu was confused how will you pronounce is very good puzzled which means confused okay in our last class we learn as very good informal letters right as informal letters today we are going to learn formal letters okay formal letters how to write formal letter today we are going to learn how to write 
formal letter. Are you ready to learn? Yes or no? Yes, right? Okay. Let's see how to write formal letter. Okay, tell me what is formal letter? Do you know what is formal letter? Okay. Let me tell you. Formal letter is an official letter. Okay. Formal letter is an official letter. Formal letter is an official letter. It is written for official reason. Okay. It is written for official reason. Okay. Do you know to whom do we write official letter? Okay. Formal letter is written to school, letters of application, then government authorities and so on. Okay. It is written to school, letters of application, government authority and so on. Why do we write formal letters? We know to whom do we write formal letters. Right? As it is written to government authorities, schools, colleges, then as letters of application and so on. Why do we write formal letters? Okay, let me tell you. To complain about something or someone. Okay? To complain about something or someone. Next, to ask for permission. Okay, to ask for permission. Next, to apply for a job and so on. Okay, to comply, to ask for permission, to apply for a job. Okay. Okay, my dear children. Let's see the format of a formal letter. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, tell me what are the different parts of a letter? Yes, very good. Heading. Yes, greeting. Then. Yes, very good. Body. Then. Yes, closing. At last. Yes, very good. Signature, right? Yes, heading. Greeting. Body. Closing. Signature. Right? Yes, in this Formal letter also has heading, greeting, body, closing and signature. Okay. Let's see first heading. Heading part includes from and to. Okay. From and to. First from. It means one who sends the letter. Okay. One who sends the letter letter from goes in the top of the left okay from goes in the top of the left side left side of your paper it is the first thing that you will write on your paper okay it is the first thing that you will write on your paper okay it includes your address okay it includes your address for example see first write from okay write from next line write your name write your name starting letter of your name must be a capital letter okay starting letter of your name must be a capital letter then put a comma at the end of your name okay put a comma at the end of your name next line write your address okay write your address then put a comma okay then last line of your address ends with a full stop okay last line of your address ends with a full stop did you understand Okay. Next, to. Okay. It is also a part of the heading. 
okay to which means receive which means receive that is one who receives the letter okay that is one who receives the letter from one who sends the letter to one who receives the letter okay it is also the same format like from okay it is also the same format like from for example see next line to okay to that is one who receives the letter next line write the receiver's name okay write the receiver's name then their address then put a comma in the appropriate place and also end the address with a full stop okay what's the second part as very good greeting right as greeting next greeting greeting goes after the heading okay the greeting goes after the heading it is also on the left side of the page okay it is also on the left side of the page for example respected madam respected sir okay then put a comma okay then put a comma next part body right body body the body goes after your greeting okay the body goes after your greeting and this is where you are going to put the message okay this is where you are going to put the message the thing you want to remember is to always write in full sentences okay and make sure you have a punctuation marks for example see here the body is this is to inform you that comma i did not attend the school extra day comma as i was suffering from fever full stop kindly excuse me and consider my absence as leave full stop so when you are writing the body you have to write what do you want to convey okay did you understand okay next part is very good closing right yes closing closing it goes on the right side of the page okay it goes on the right side of the page so remember just like a greeting you have to put a comma after your closing okay for example yours obediently yours faithfully yours sincerely okay last part signature right a yes, signature 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 goes right under the closing okay signature goes right under the closing this is where you are going to write your sign or name okay this is where you are going to write your name or sign your name at last put a date and place okay put a date and place after the signature okay it goes on the left side of the page okay it goes on the left side of the page did you understand is or no okay that's all i hope you learn to write a formal letter right yes so don't forget the five parts of a letter okay that is heading greeting s yes, body closing signature okay from and to comes under heading from one who sends the letter okay to one who receives the letter in the from part you write your address in the to part write the receiver address okay next greeting greeting goes after the heading next body here you write what do you want to convey next 
closing okay closing goes after the body next signature okay it goes under the closing this is where you are going to write or sign your name at last write the date and place okay did you understand okay that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye